Mercifully, I'm not going to try and define plot for you. It's far too nebulous a category. If you thought my story definition was tedious, well, that would only be a warm-up act to any attempt at defining what plot is. Remember the vague notion you started the last lesson with about defining a story? That'll do for plot right now, because this word is a garbage heap of various challenges a writer faces when thinking about how to tell their story. The word plot is a category that contains all of the following. 1. The way a writer manages time. 2. How long a writer chooses to dwell on each story element. 3. How much action and how much description there is in the story. 4. The sequence the actions of the story unfold in. Oh, and five, there's that little matter of the actual stuff happening in the story. Remember those six dimensions of infinity I was talking about in the introduction? Hint, this is dimension one, infinity and beyond. All the aspects that fit into the very broad category plot are important. We're going to talk about them all. But one thing we are not going to do is to make any attempt to define plot, because really, we're talking about at least five distinctly different aspects of written narratives, and probably more. One thing we can do, though, is to make use of our story definition to guide us toward what a writer is trying to accomplish with plot. Here, our target words from the story definition are dynamic and interesting. A good writer needs to make the story world move, and he needs to do so in a way that grabs the reader's attention. This is fundamentally what plot is all about. With that said, Let's get your story moving.